Nice. What's up all my skaters? If you click the title of this video, you're here because you want to learn how to ollie manual like this. Let's get after it. All right, we're gonna start out with some random shout outs to people, so I'm gonna put a couple here. Thank you for being a part of the channel, subscribing. Now let's get into the video and teach you guys how to ollie manual. Prerequisites for this trick, you need to be able to do a moving ollie, you need to be able to do a manual, and you need to be able to connect the two. Doesn't matter if it's a big ollie or just a baby ollie like I'm showing you here. You need to get all four wheels off the ground, land back on the back wheels, and hold a manual position. Now, however high you can ollie is gonna determine what you're ollie manualing. So start out what's comfortable for you. For here, I'm showing you guys some examples. This is the lowest box of this part. And then I'm gonna work my way up to a bigger size. Now keep in mind, it's okay to let down and put back up. If you can't hold it the whole way, which you're not going to be able to in the beginning, make sure you're doing everything you can to finish out that manual and get off the box on the end. Definitely don't be afraid to take different approaches or angles when trying to do this. Going from the side of the box is perfectly fine to help you get on top and get used to it. This is one of the longest boxes I've ever done. And I definitely took a few spills while trying it, as you'll see right here. Luckily, I was able to roll a little bit to help break the fall, but it definitely didn't feel great. Guys, yeah, so I just had a wheel fly off while trying to trick on one of the boxes. Uh, we were able to find the washer. Got the wheel in the washer here. Weren't able to find the bolt, but luckily, I don't know who left it here, but whoever left this here, I'm gonna borrow one of these nuts. Sorry, nut, not bolt. Uh, get fixed up and keep riding. Let's go. All right, so we got the wheel, we found the washer. I just stole a nut from the board over there. And uh, thank God I've got at least a tool with me. So we're gonna get this fixed and get back at it. So going into this, your footing is gonna be the exact same as a normal Ollie as you'll see right here. Instead of leveling out your front foot like you normally would to land, you're gonna leave your front foot hanging a little bit higher so you land in an angle and keep your knees slightly bent. That way you're able to flex out if you need to and adjust. Now again, watch from coming from the other way. Boom, front foot's higher than the back foot so my board is automatically angled. Now I'm keeping my chest over the middle of my board, keeping my knees bent and adjusting with my arms and upper body if need be. Now in this next shot, take a look at my eyes. When I pop up, land right here, my eyes are looking down, one to make sure I clear the edge. But within a second of being on the ledge, boom, my eyes are looking towards the end of the box. And I keep them there. My head doesn't move, but my body slightly adjusts. That'll help you stay in one place and keep your balance. One important thing I want to mention in my how to manual video, I note about rolling the front ankle as you see here in order to help balance. Don't do this when ollie manualing a box unless you're trying to flip trick out, which if so, you don't need to be watching this. But the point is ollie, land in the manual, lock out your feet and go. If you hadn't already noticed, rewatch the ollie manuals in this video and you'll see every single time I land, my front foot is locked out and steady the whole time. Good as new. Go. Guys, I say it in every video, but skating is tough. Falls are going to happen. It's going to take you a while to get these tricks. So consistency is key. Just keep getting up and keep trying over and over. You're seeing it's taking me a while to get things back together, even though I've already manual this box before my wheel flew off. Another tip is to try tricks in between. So like here, doing the front side 180 up it, it just gives me a little bit of relief trying a different motion. Boom, landed it right after, which also led to this. It's the first time I ever did it and I got the idea from the 180. It's a 180 to a switch manual. I'm terrible at switch manuals, but this was a heck of a time trying to get it. Future video to come. Guys, leave a comment below. Let me know, did this help? If so, what do you want to see next? I'm tired. Bye. <laughs>